ahead and walk through a couple of different steps. Feel free to pause as you need to. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Drive. So the quickest way for me to go to Drive is just to type drive.google.com. But remember, there's lots of different ways that you can get there. Just find the one that works for you. Once we're in Drive, um, the first thing I'm going to do, as we've seen in some of the other videos, is I'm going to create a new folder. Um, since this is a test one for you guys all to see, I'm going to go ahead and click New. Then I'm going to click Folder. And I'm just going to pretend that this is for my first unit. So I'm just going to type Unit 1. Then I'm going to say Create. As soon as I create that folder, it's going to highlight that folder for me um, so that it's easy for me to find it. And I can go ahead and jump in. One of the first things I wanted to point out is um, when you have your folders uh, highlighted like this, if you right click on your folder, you're going to come up with a whole bunch of different options. And I think one of the biggest ones that I use that makes a difference for me is the option to change the color of my folder. So if this is a folder that you're going to use on a regular basis and you just want it to stick out, right clicking on it to change the color of the photo or folder, sorry, um, is going to make things a lot easier. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dive into the folder by double clicking. Once I'm in there, I'm going to um, go ahead and either drop files here or I can go up to new and go to either file upload or folder upload. If I go to file, then I'm only uploading one item and I can go throughout my entire um, computer here to find something that I need. Let's just say I want this thing to go in. I'm just going to select it and I'll collect or say open. Now another way that we can upload files is by dragging and dropping. So I'm going to just minimize my screen and it kind of like disappeared on me. Pay no attention to how many things I have on my desktop right now. So if I wanted to drag and drop a photo, for example, I can select the photo from my desktop or from the finder and I'm just going to drag and drop and it's as simple as that. Now the first thing I, I uploaded was a PDF. This next one was a photo or an image. So it doesn't really matter. You can also go ahead and upload entire folders as a drag and drop option um, or going into the new button and doing a folder upload. So those are some of the easiest ways to um, drag and drop and upload fold folders and files. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at deleting files and folders and making copies of items. So I was noticing when I was looking through my Google Drive just now that I had a random folder that I didn't really know what it was and I didn't really want it. So what was that again? It was this one. It's this guy right here. So you'll notice that right now I've got my quick access up above has been explained probably already and you've got your file folders down here and I don't have very many tools or options up here in this area. However, when I find, I was going through here earlier and I found a folder that I was like, what is this? I don't really need it. So this folder right here, as I clicked on it, I got a few more options up above. This was mentioned, I believe, in one of the videos prior. So from here, once I highlight the, the folder that I don't need or want, I can hit this trash button. I could right click and hit remove. And I also can drag and drop it to the trash. So you just have to figure out what works for you. Um, most of the time I'm going to drag and drop it to the trash. I usually have never actually hit that right click button and I just know it's there. So I usually will kind of drag and drop to be perfectly honest. So that that's how you delete a file or a folder. Um, and let's see, I'm going to go back into my unit one example and I have to go all the way down here. Okay. So I'm going to dive into my unit one. Now I do have a Google Doc. Now before I showed you that you can click new and create a folder, but you can also create Google Doc sheets, slides, and even go down here to more and create all of your other items. So you don't actually have to go to docs.google.com or to go to that, that area at all. In fact, the only time I ever go there is to look at some of their templates. For the most part, I always have Google Drive open as a tab that I'm coming back to repeatedly. This is where I create all of my items so that I'm always organized and in the folders that I want them to be. So I have a document here that I created. 
So I wanted to show you a couple of different things that you can do. The first one is to make a copy of this. So let's say you've created something and you want to keep that as your main template and then you want to create a copy to share with students or to share with a colleague. Um, the easiest way to do this is to right click and then um, hit make a copy. Now the other thing that you can do is actually in the document itself, but when I click make a copy here, what it's going to do is just make a copy directly in the folder that I'm in. There you see it, copy of a hyperdoc. And um, from here I can drag and drop it to another folder if I need to. Um, it's selected so I actually can click share straight from this folder so I don't even have to open the document. I can just do everything from here. Now I wanted to show you really quickly too. If I open up this document, who knows what this is, okay. If I open up this document, as soon as it's ready to go, I can click file and I can say make a copy here as well. Now when you click make a copy, you have the option, it's going to go in the same folder, but you can select a different folder if you need to. So you can decide from here where you want it to go. And I'm going to cancel it. And I'm going to go back out. So again, remember if I created a copy that I don't really need, I can drag and drop it. I can select it and hit the trash button up here. And that's how you're going to delete things. So you could delete whole files and you could delete um, whole folders. And then um, I just showed you how to make a copy. Now everything that you make in this um, in Google Drive, the default is automatically going to be that it's private only to you. So if I'm going to share this file with a colleague, I'm going to have to go to the to the share option. So within this realm, there's a person with a plus sign. Or if I open up the document, the other option is to go to the blue share button up here in the right hand corner. So when I click that share button, I can type my colleague's address right here, email address, and it's going to find, even if you just type their first name, it's going to start to find um, through, our, through our address book. But the other thing that's important to note is that you do have this advanced button in the corner. When you click that, it's going to show you who has options to look at it. Um, and you can go in and change this by clicking this change button here. These are the levels of sharing um, that you have through our district. So the first one is that it's the sharing is off. It's automatically defaulting to that and it's only shared with you and then you have to type someone's name. Then it gradually releases access. So this one allows anyone in the Beaver to School District with the link. That means you've shared it, but you're going to grab the URL and pop that into um, an email or you're going to pop it into your into canvas course or something like that. So you're sharing the link. If you click here, then that's allowing anyone in the Beaverton School District to technically search for your document within their Google Drive and potentially find it. Once you get into these top two sections, anyone with the link means that anyone outside of the district, so they don't even have to have a Beaverton School District email, so this could be a colleague in a different district for example, could access this document if you shared it to them with the link. But they will have to have a Gmail account in order to access it, so they will have to sign in somewhere. Otherwise, if you click this very last available one, then anyone can see it and you, they don't have to sign in at all. So those are the levels of sharing. So I know often when I talk about Google Drive, that's the first thing people want to know is, oh, is it safe for me to create here? And yes, it's totally safe because it's only sharing um, to you. You're the only one that can see it until you go in and make these steps. So feel free to pause, rewind, and watch those steps again if you need to.